want to code along with me, go to this website and click Start Coding. Choose Python as the language, and then after that, click Create REPL. Boom. Learn to code while well on TikTok, video number 14. Review time. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, sky. What is the type of this number? Five, four, three, two. Drum roll, please. We run our code and we see int. What this means will be covered in a future video. Good job. To code while on TikTok, video number 15. Today we're gonna learn how to compare values in Python. This symbol checks if two values are equal. Let's start with a simple example. Will this print out true or false? So are those two numbers equal? So if you go to run your code, you'll see it prints out true. Now we put these numbers in variables. X is a variable and Y is a variable. Now what do you think this would print out? Run your code to find out the answer. It prints out true. You can also check if text or strings are equal. Still true. Last example, what will this print out? Run your code. Let's wait for the answer. False, hot is not equal to dog. Well, I promise, by the end of the video, you are going to understand what this code is doing. Print displays or prints out whatever is between the parentheses on the screen. Now what the second line of code is going to do is it's gonna ask the user for input and ask them, what is your age? After it gets the user's age, it's gonna make sure the number is a whole number or an int, which stands for integer. Store that input in a variable called user age. If that is equal to 16, notice how I use two equal signs. So if this statement is true, it prints out, yay, you are old enough to drive. To run to run your code, learning about if statements. What is your age? 16? Yay, you're old enough to drive. operators. You've definitely seen operators before because plus, which stands for addition, is an operator. Today we're going to talk about a comparison operator. This operator checks if two values are not equal. The In this symbol, the exclamation point represents not. This operator is called not equal. Do you think this will print out true or false? Is 145 not equal to 1? You're right, it prints out true. So is ice cream not equal to Froyo? Answer is true. Okay, y'all, final example. So is hips tick tock when I dance not equal to hips tick tock when I dance? The answer is true. Code well on TikTok, video number 17. Then we're going to learn how to use that symbol, aka operator, in our code. Okay, y'all, pause the screen, go to this website, and then type all of this code out. So this program, or code, lets us know if a user is allowed to drink in the United States. So let's say you're 22 years old. To represent that in code, we say age equal sign 22. Age is a variable and variables just hold data. For example, a number like 22. So if age is less than 21, it prints out, so we going to Mexico or not? Else, so if that's not true, so let's say the age is not less than 21, it prints out, you are old enough to drink. We press the run button and it prints out, you are old enough to drink. Well on TikTok, video number 18 know how to compare values in Python? Go on with your bad self. Okay y'all, so let's do some review. Do you think these two values are equal? Run your code and it prints out false. This is because each character, so for example A, Y, and even this empty space is associated with a number. So for example, lowercase a 
is associated with the number 97. Let's see the number that an uppercase A is associated with. So uppercase A is associated with the number 65. So when Python goes to compare these two texts or these two strings, it's like, nope, the number 97 is not equal to the number 65. So it prints out false. Hello, well on TikTok, video number 19. So today we're gonna talk about commenting our code. Code comments help explain what our code is doing. To write a comment, use the hashtag symbol and then write whatever you want. So for example, what the code below does is it calculates users' earnings. A popular comment that programmers write is to do. To do kind of reminds yourself of something you want to code up later. Code well on TikTok, video number 20. Okay y'all, with just one line of code, I'm gonna teach y'all how to build this character counter. So there's this wonderful function in Python that lets us get the length of a string. But just looking at this, I have no idea. However, if we use the length function and we print out our results, so let's run our code and we'll see the answer is 115. So there's 115 characters in this string. Boom! Character count. Well on TikTok, video number 21. Today we're gonna learn how to get a specific character from a string. Here we have a variable named first name and it holds the string Shakira. Now if we print out first name, we'll see Shakira. Now to get the first character, what we need to do is add brackets and then put the number zero. This will give us S. So if we go to run our code, we'll see S. Number one will give us H, y'all. What number do we need to put in to get the character? Well on TikTok, video number 22. So last time we learned that each character for example, I is a character, E is a character, these are all characters, is associated with a number. Let's say we had a variable called dance that was equal to thizzle. So dance at position zero gives us T, dance at position one gives us H, and dance at position six, or index six, gives us. So if we go to code this up, and then we press the run button, we'll see each character is printed on the screen. So congrats, you just learned the index operator. Using brackets and inside putting a number is indexing. Well on TikTok, video number 23. Today we're gonna talk about bugs. Not these kind of bugs, no, no, no. We're talking about these kind of bugs. This part lets us know the file where we see the error. So for example, the name of this file is main.py. This part lets us know the line number where the error occurs. So this one happens on line nine. We also get an error message. It says string index is out of range. So if we go back over here, there's no position seven for this string. This is because the letter T is at position zero, the letter H is at position one, and if we keep going, the last letter E is at position six. We got nothing at position seven. So if you take out this line and you go to run your code, well on TikTok, video number 24. So last time we learned about strings. We also learned that each character in a string is associated with a number. So even if there's a space in our string, that is also associated with a number. What if I told you there is also negative numbers that each of these characters are associated with? The last character in the string is associated with negative one. And then the second to last character is associated with negative two. And then so on and so forth. So let's say we had a variable called money and that was equal to the string a billion dollars. Do you think this is gonna print true or false? Is money at position seven equal to money at position negative 10? When I was first learning to code, some people told me that I couldn't do it. However, life is all about perspective. In Python, there's this concept called slicing. So what this first part says is look at comment, and I want you to take everything from the beginning, so from position zero, all the way up to position seven, but not including that last position. 
and let's combine all of that with everything from position nine. So this position until the end of the string. So if someone says you can't learn to code, you tell them you can learn to code.